Hey y'all, welcome back to the 45 Home Lab YouTube channel. I'm Zach Perry, and today I've got a hardware refresh story you're gonna wanna hear. So we've made some big changes to the HL15, and guess what? We listen to your feedback. This thing is a lot more capable. So if you've been waiting for a more powerful, more flexible HL15, let's dive into what's new with version 2.0. Why did this refresh happen? So over the last few months, we've had a ton of great conversations through the forums, emails, YouTube comments, Reddit, carrier pigeon messages, in a bottle, and more and more. So what did we learn? You wanted a higher spec AMD CPU, full SAS support across every bay, adjustable fan, and since this is in your home, a way to keep your dogs or cats fur from being sucked into the server. So that's exactly what we built into the new HL15 2.0. So let's break it down. All right, let's do a quick side-by-side -side of the original HL15 and what you get with the 2.0. So first up, the motherboard. The original came with a Super Micro X11 SPH bordering Intel. And while these are very capable, performing, enterprise-grade electronics, those you wanted a newer AMD CPU, access to a higher core and thread count. So the 2.0 version uses an ASRock ROM ED8 2T, which now only supports AMD Epic 7252 as standard. That's eight cores, 16 threads, and a much higher base clock with the bronze sporting 1.9 gigahertz and the AMD coming in fast with a 2.8 gigahertz and turbo 3.2 and that's more cores and over double the threads that was previously standard. And if you want more, you can now upgrade all the way to a 32 core Epic, which is a serious step up in performance. Drive connectivity has also leveled up on the original HL15. Some of the base supported SAS, but it was limited depending on which ports you used. With the 2.0, we've made the HBA card standard, so now all 15 bays support SAS right out of the box with the addition of a 9416i HBA. Cooling has gotten smarter too. We swapped the fixed speed fans for PWM fans, which means variable fan speed control for even quieter servers. So the Noctua fans, uh, that upgrade, it remains as an option. Several months ago, we did an early upgrade of the power supply, which carries into the HL15 2.0. The original unit, it shipped with a 650 watt PSU. The 2.0 now comes with a Corsair 1000 watts higher power supply, which gives you headroom for GPU accelerators, SSDs, which can be installed with the available bracket or 3D printed, whatever your lab throws at it. We also added something folks have been asking for. Every HL15 2.0 now ships with a toolless removable dust filter. Keeps your airflow clean and it's super easy to pop off and clean, no tools, no hassle. And if you've got an older HL15, you can grab a retro kit fit from our store. Some of the things haven't changed though, and for good reason, it's still built from 16 gauge cold rolled steel, still designed and assembled in North America, still screwed together, not riveted, so you can actually service and mod it yourself. That same industrial feel that makes it feel like you're working with real gear, not something fragile. Lastly, we increase the space between the drive cage and the front plate. It's a small change, but it makes a thing like swapping drives in and out way more comfortable, especially when you're working in a tight space. From software perspective, the unit will ship with Rocky Linux on our Houston UI pre-installed. The Houston UI motherboard GUI is getting an upgrade to reflect the new motherboard and electronics. The HL15 2.0 isn't a starter kit, it's a platform. Whether you're just now stepping into Proxmox, you're already running multi-node ZFS replication, this is hardware you won't outgrow. And because it's open, upgradable, and serviceable, you're in control of every part of it. Thanks for watching, and if you want to check out the full HL15 2.0 specs or grab a dust filter upgrade kit, head over to store.45homelab.com. And if you've got questions, feedback, or you want to hang out with other home labbers on a community forum, it's live at forum.45homelab.com. Drop a comment if the refresh hits the mark. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Maybe a future HL24. Who knows? Until next time, happy tinkering. See you, folks. Boom, boom, boom. Woo! Oh. You want to do a photo for... Um, what is it, sir? For a thumbnail? Yeah, sure. We can do that. <laughs>